guys, Drew here with GeoArm Security. Once again, this time I'm going to be explaining how to program a 5800PIR-RES motion detector, which is wireless, by the way, uh, into an L7000 Honeywell panel. The newest, latest, greatest, and best. I mean, look at that display. I'm very, very impressed with this thing. All right. This is the motion detector we're going to be programming in. Once again, the 5800PIR-RES. Um, a lot of questions that I get about this motion detector are, uh, why doesn't the red light light up when I walk in front of it? The red light only lights up in the first five minutes, and that's for a walk test mode. You don't have to worry about it. If you don't see the red light, it does not mean that the motion detector is not working. They go to sleep. This happens regularly. Don't be uh, thrown off if the red light doesn't flash, because sometimes it doesn't. So, what we're going to do to program this bad boy in, I'm going to get in a little close here so you guys can see the screen. We're going to go into security. We're going to go more here in the bottom right. You're going to go into tools. You're going to enter your installer code. Default is 4112. That gets us into programming. So you're going to go into program there. You are then going to go into zones. All right. So for instance, uh, this is going to be the only sensor I'm going to add in this video. So I'm going to click on zone two, which is the first wireless zone that you are allowed to use on this panel. I'm going to click edit, which will get us into the programming. Now, I'm going to go through everything first, and then I'll go back to the serial number. Uh, the loop number for these motion detectors is always going to be 1. need to make sure. All right. The zone description is wherever you want this bad boy to be at. So, for instance, it says front right now. I want to change it to bedroom. So I'm going to delete all that stuff out. Bedroom. Baby, bed, bed, bedroom. Bedroom. Done. All right. Zone description 2, you can add another word if you wanted. So, like, bedroom, back. Be, you know. be back. There we go. So, bedroom, back. You're going to change the device type. You're going to make sure that it says motion detector, motion sensor. There we go. Now, there's two different ways that we normally recommend um, setting your motion detectors for response type. Uh, interior follower is always going to pick you up right away. That means that the sensor goes off right away. You would normally put this away from wherever you have the keypad. So, for instance, if you have the keypad mounted in the living room, you don't want to set that uh, motion detector to interior follower. You want to set that motion detector to interior with delay. So that way when you walk through the motion detector, it's not instantly tripped on you. Um, so now I'm going to go back to the serial number. Let me go ahead and grab my motion detector here. Uh, it looks like 0830625. So 0830625. My motion's in there. That is how you program it. You don't want to put chime on because this thing will annoy the living heck out of you every time you walk in front of it by chiming. You want it to report and you want it to be supervised. So you're going to click save. There we go. Now we have bedroom back motion sensor. You see it's written in there. Um, once again, that is how you program in a 5800PIR-RES wireless motion detector into a Honeywell L7000 security system. My name is Drew Davis. I work with GeoArm Security. Any questions, concerns, or comments that you may have, please feel free to leave a comment in the feed underneath us. Or you can give us a call at one 877 geoarm Thanks a lot, guys.